last night the Orlando Magic blew a 27 point lead to the Boston Celtics just days after they got drubbed in Boston and, and only scored 56 points. 25 points in, in the second half in this game last night. They only scored eight in the fourth quarter. Um, Dwight Howard minus 25 plus or minus while he was on the floor. Early foul trouble, they went out to a big lead. Prior to this game, Dwight Howard had some comments about how he loves the way the Celtics play and how he loves the way they win and how he wants to be part of a team like that. And to me, that's throwing your teammates under the bus, saying that these guys aren't good enough. And, and he continues to do things like this. And what they showed last night is a lack of heart to allow that to happen on their home floor. I want the Magic to do well, but if I'm Otis Smith right now, I trade Dwight Howard as soon as possible. I know nobody wants to hear that. I know it's, the hard, it's not what anybody wants here in Orlando. We want Dwight to stay. He does not want to be here. He does not want to play with this group of guys. And you saw the disconnect on the floor last night. They were unable to close that game out. Dwight Howard did not step up as as the big-time star he's supposed to be and take over that game. I think that this team this needs to be blown up and, st and start from scratch as soon as possible. I don't think they should wait any longer. What you saw last night was a team that cannot win a championship. To allow the Boston Celtics, without Rondo, without Ray Allen, to do that on your home floor, to come back like that and take your heart, I don't see how a team like this can win a, a championship this year. They're a decent basketball team. They're a good basketball team. They'll make the playoffs, but they're not going to win a title. I, I, I think this is it. I think it's time to make a move. If I'm Otis Smith, I do it as soon as possible before this gets any worse.